Babe, you can't overtake me. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm a board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist. Now, we haven't done one of these Q and A type videos, and that stands for question and answer, for those of you who didn't know that. And we're going to do another one today because it's been so long. And as always, well, not always, as of the last one I did, I was joined by a very special guest, someone who hasn't been on my channel in a very long time, someone who hasn't been on YouTube in a very long time. Please welcome my lovely wife, Andrea. She always goes to the other side. Sorry. <laughs> this side. Wrong side. You have to speak into the microphone as well. Wow, this is a new device. This is fancy now. So this is Andriana. For those of you who don't know, she will be reading off the questions today. I have not seen these questions. I don't even know what questions she's going to read off, but we'll see what happens. All right. Do you have anything to say to yourself, to the audience? Not to yourself. No. Cool. What a good start. <laughs> this is your phone time. She has her phone and she's doing a live chat with someone about returning a product while yeah, we're doing <laughs> while the we're refund doing status would you say at this point in your career that medicine was worth it also do you have any advice for non-traditional pre-meds yes i think i've done a whole video on that right where i said it's i think i've actually done an entire video that says yes it was worth it <laughs> So maybe they're not a true subscriber to my channel. Well, put the link right over here. Yeah, put the link up here. I think it's literally called, was it worth it? But yes, it was worth it. I love my job. I love where I'm at right now. It was all worth it in the end. Training was terrible. This whole long process was awful, but now it paid off. All right, question number two. Did you start investing in rental properties while in medical school? Do you pay cash for homes you own by yourself or do you finance them? Something a little bit out of the medical space. Yeah, it is. Did I do it in med school? No, we bought, when did we buy our first home? Two um, years ago? Two years ago. Yes. Two years ago. So fellowship. I was in, oh yeah, I was in fellowship. I don't think that would have been possible as a med student. No. <laughs> I had zero dollars. Maybe not even like the first couple of years of residency. Yeah. Actually all of residency. Yeah. I don't think that would have been possible, honestly. What was the other part of the question? I forgot. Did you pay for them in cash? Oh, no, we did not pay for them in cash. We took, put a down payment. Yeah, we put 25% down on each house. Um, the reason we did that is because you don't want to spend all your hash on one house when you could have cash flow from multiple houses being rented out simultaneously. So so contrary to what the kind of older mentality is, you don't really pay for your house in cash unless you have like buku, bukus of money. Is that the right word, buku? I've never heard of that. Don't ask me, I'm bad with that stuff. <laughs> buku, buku money? I just think of merci buku. Anyways, next one. Would you like to do more travel videos? Ooh. What do you think? Sure. Baby, you're hitting my camera. Oh, sorry. I think you base it on how you feel. Like sometimes you just kind of want to enjoy your trip and not videotape it. But videotape. other times, <laughs> video record. <laughs> videotape it. But other times I feel like, other times I feel like it's just natural just to kind of film if we're just kind of casually strolling. So I don't know, I guess you kind yeah, of do it know. in the moment. But when you're watching this video, we will be in Spain, so. Maybe we'll videotape that. Maybe after this video releases, there will be a travel vlog in there at some point. I don't know yet because again, it depends on my mood. Okay. Last time we went to Turks and Caicos on our vacation. Oh, well that's that's just more like yeah, a relaxation. What There's not much to videotape yeah, besides us. It depends. Swimming at so, the beach. So it'll probably reading. be, yeah, yeah, we didn't do anything that trip, but it'll probably, this is more of an adventurous trip because we're going pl like different places in Spain. So maybe it'll be easier to travel vlog this. Did you finish paying off your student loans? No, a link to the video up here where I talked about why I'm not paying off my student loans. <gasps> okay, well, I'm, I'm still paying off my student loans, but I'm not paying off like a lump sum. So watch the video, you'll understand. If you had total control over a hospital for a year, in what ways would you improve the radiology department? I like that question. Wow, that's probably the best question I've ever been asked. Yeah, even another follower commented saying, nice question. Really? Yeah. That's probably the best question I've ever been asked. What would I do differently? I think that question is so broad. In terms of like all things radiology, efficiency is key. So I think the workflow is everything. You have to make the images, make sure the images come in, make sure everything's uploaded, the indication, so that the radiologist can just like keep chucking through. And in terms of IR, you just gotta have the patients down and ready to do procedures to make sure everything's done efficiently and safely but that's kind of a broad answer and i would like to go into depth more about this oh but maybe you should do a video on that yeah but i don't know how i would like discuss what i would do i don't know maybe we'll think about it 
Sorry for not answering that correctly. I would have to go into like every specific example of how I would change it. And that's really tough and time consuming. Okay. What is something you would say to your younger self with the knowledge and experience you have now? That's another good question. What would I say to myself? Yeah. Keep working hard. Don't stop. Would you change anything? I wouldn't change anything. That's good. Maybe the only thing I would change would be to mature earlier and find out my true passion earlier rather than it taking so long. So like, obviously I took a non-traditional path into medicine. So I finished college, started working in real estate, and then finally figured out a couple of years later that I wanted to go back to school to go to med school. So if I didn't have to do that, I would have been out now for like multiple years. That's so true. that would have been better. So that's something I do regret, but that's just- That probably shaped you who you were though. Yeah. If you didn't have those years of experience in totally another agree. field, totally agree. you probably wouldn't have found your passion. Totally agree. Yep, it all, all works right. out in the end. Next question. All right, well, my arm is about to break off. A lot of people have been asking, I'm just gonna combine a couple of questions. Just as former IR nurse here, all the doctors I worked with bought a big fancy house after fellowship. Can you explain your financial decision to continue to rent? Is there a rationale you're following or just didn't find something you like? Thanks, love the channel. And another person asked, why are you still renting? Then someone wrote as a comment because he's probably in debt and he's smart. Many MDs get into debt way over their heads. That's very true. All those answers are true. First of all, we started a new job in a new state in a new area that we're unfamiliar with. So we buy, wanted to yeah, buying a house immediately when I don't really know if the job is going to work out, if the area I'm going to like or all that stuff. I think it'd be too soon to just jump into a house because what if I didn't like the job and like three months later I wanted to leave? Then I have to sell a house, blah, blah, blah. It's much easier to just like be in a rental and not have to worry. Two, What's the market the, that uh, oh yeah, the market yeah. now is just absolutely insane and then three i think space wise for the just the two of us it kind of works i think it's kind of easy to have an apartment where you can just kind of close your doors and kind of go away and not have to worry about much of the maintenance plus i mean we did buy how we have houses we just don't live in any of them ultimately yes we will probably buy a home yes. sometime most just certainly down. Just don't we will know buy a home. That, we'll, that we will actually live in. Correct, yes. Just oh, yeah. not yet. We'll buy a home for ourselves. Yes. Okay, next question. I lost the questions. Oh no, how did you lose the questions? I don't know, I'm coming back. It's all coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what advice would you give people in their early undergrad years who are hesitant to go into medicine because of corporatization and provider burnout? I would say you're on to something because that's very much something to think about but i think there's burnout in every job just it depends on the degree of burnout there is a lot of burnout in medicine so i encourage you to go out and really shadow doctors and see what it's all about and see what the day-to-day -day is actually like because it varies across specialty across private practice academics all that stuff so you'll find out if it's right for you but also so many doctors told me not to go into medicine because they were burnt out and then i did it anyways i think if you have a good work-life balance it doesn't really matter yeah that's I key work-life balance is key what investment opportunities would you recommend recommend for medical students to help get us started or even to begin building our portfolios. And someone commented, research the most popular medical procedures, then find out the corresponding manufacturer, then ensure they are included in your portfolio. I mean, I don't know if I agree with researching the best companies that you do procedures with or whatnot, because a lot of the procedural companies, especially the new ones, don't make a profit. So this market, those companies are doing terribly. I mean, even the apples of the world are doing terribly right now in this market. So what I would do this is not investment advice by the way the first thing i would do is use the link in my description join webull which is a trading app and if you use that link you'll literally get six free stocks if you just deposit one cent so it's free money so you should do that first and then this is not financial advice but you should probably invest in like etfs just something safe like total market index funds like vti or the s p 500 uh, VOO, stuff like that, or the SPY. That's what I would probably do. And open a Roth IRA. Next question. You almost poked me in the eye. Oh no, <laughs> I would have given you a corneal abrasion. Go, go. I start medical school in a few months. If you could do medical school over again, what would you do differently? These are all about medical school, huh? Mm, no, you, I threw in some financial advice. Well, that's true. If I could do it all over again, what would I do differently? Nothing, honestly. I don't know what I would do differently. I feel like everything worked out the way I wanted it to. So I would just work just as hard as I did this time. Again, you want to switch over to Instagram now? No, I, we forgot the most important question. We did? Yes. Our poor Instagram folks are doing. How's Andriana doing? <laughs> oh, God. I'm great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> that was the most important? Yep. Okay. All right. 
Tips for couples when one is in medical school and the other is not. What do you think? Michael and I weren't dating when he was in medical school, but I guess... Probably for the better. I Yeah, I guess residency doesn't really compare just because you kind of have more of a real-life schedule and more of a life. I don't think I could have dated her in medical school because I was in the library every single day, like nonstop, for at least the first two years. The third and fourth year were different, but I feel like you, could just, you just don't have time to devote anything to a relationship during those two years. So it would be really hard. And also the person you're dating who's not in medicine and doesn't really understand what you're going through, which is why you'll see so many couples get together in medical school because they like understand each other and what they're going through because you really don't know unless you experience it. How are PAs utilized in IR? Okay, let's let's go on my, should I get on my high horse here? For like the millionth time here, people always say like, oh, blah, 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 blah. We cannot function in IR without PAs or NPs. We need them to help us do procedures. We need them to help us do orders. We need them to do- Consults. Consults. Like we literally wouldn't even be able to do my job without PAs. We have a team of PAs that worked with us. And even then we just need more because there's so many procedures and so many consults and like orders and like constantly coming in that you just, you have to have them. They're essentially a necessity, period. I guess Michael really and I, advocates for well, PAs. This is non-biased because I'm married to one. If I, I guess, would go back or choose another specialty to practice medicine in, I think I would choose IR. I really like the way that PAs are utilized in IR, and I really like the way that your practice and your hospital utilizes PAs. So I always yeah. recommend like any new grad PA to kind of scope out the IR scene. Nice mix of uh, procedures and medicine and consults and you know interacting with patients kind of like a little bit of everything and this isn't just in private practice because pas are used in every academic place i've ever worked in as well like again even with residents you can't function without pas or you probably could function but i guarantee if you're hospital or department hires PAs, it'll function like exponentially better. That goes for IR. I can't say it for any other specialty, but IR specifically, it's almost a must. Next question. All right. Tell us a time when all three Dr. Cellini's got into trouble as a kid. I got into the most trouble as a kid. And I was, I'm the middle child. You know, I have middle child syndrome. I'm always up to no good. High school. I was never- Very needy. Yeah, very needy. I never did anything bad, but I was just always like, you know, getting in trouble at school or something. I don't know. I wasn't a good kid, but I wasn't like. You didn't answer the question. Was it time I when I can't all just three think, of you? Oh, were all three of us? Got in trouble. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't even know. I don't remember my childhood like you do, though. Yeah, he has a bad memory. She remembers like everything from kindergarten. Comment below for the people who don't remember anything from like elementary school. I barely, I don't even know what the halls of my elementary school looked like. She can remember like what she got on a quiz in second grade. All it right. Makes that no one, sense. We'll do one more. All right, one more, one more. What would you be if you were not a doctor? I would be. I probably do a full time YouTube. I, that doesn't count. <laughs> Um, I would your, do. Your YouTube started from medicine, That's so you can't actually true. say that. I don't know. What would I be? I mean, I don't know. Maybe like stockbroker? All right. Dr. Cellini would be a stockbroker. Or a real estate developer? Really? I don't know. I like that stuff. Oh, all right. Yeah. Cool. All right. So send us out. Okay, one oh. moment. I have to read. Why do you have to get so high up? Oh, God. My... Send us out. All righty. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this YouTube video, make sure you like and subscribe to Dr. Cellini's channel. And if you like to see more guest appearances, then make sure you double like <laughs> on this YouTube video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Follow Andriana on Instagram and maybe her YouTube channel. Maybe she'll put out content once in the next two years. Who someone knows? Someone did ask that question. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a little sleepy over there on her channel. But as always, we'll see you all on the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh, you're breaking my, my leg.